Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we are reviewing the Razer Ballast X Hyperspeed, the mouse that I personally use. That's why there's a sticker on it. And let's get straight into it. So, first off, let's look at really the only downside to the mouse. It weighs a little more than the average mouse. It's 84 grams, 0.18 pounds. The only reason for that is because it's Bluetooth. And it makes it a lot easier than a whole bunch of wires accidentally wrapping around your keyboard like crazy, snatching around, ripping the computer out, <coughs> stuff like that. And it just makes it much easier to move around. And you can just use the mouse anywhere because of the uh, slides right here. You can practically do it anywhere now. You can even play it on the floor. And the overall build of the mouse is great. You got this slide right here to hold your thumb. I really like that piece because it gives you access to these buttons right on the side, which are programmable. So if you want to figure out how to do that, make sure to watch the end of the video where I'll be explaining how to mod these buttons here to give you 20 CPS and sometimes 40 CPS. So make sure to watch till the end. But these buttons are programmable. Basically, all the buttons are programmable, which is why I really like Razer. I'm not sponsored by them, but hey, if you want to sponsor me, sponsor me. But one of the things that I really like about this mouse is the scroller. Now, this scroller actually will click in place. If you see, it clicks right in place. You can just scroll through your inventory, and then you can scroll really fast if you need to. In comparison to my old mouse, yep, look at this beautiful honk of junk. Look at this scroller on this. It's not even scrolling on my screen. And I'm just going cross here. It won't go, it won't do anything. It is utter garbage. So, it won't click in place, it won't do anything. But on this one, it will click perfectly in place. It's great. Now, one thing about this mouse that's really cool is you have this button right here that controls your DPI. I don't know what that stands for, but it stands for something. But when you click it, it adjusts your sensitivity. So when you click it, and that's programmable as well, and you can program your different levels of sensitivity. You can have up to five sensitivity marks on there. It's great. So here's my normal one. You can go around just normal, normal Minecraft, and you can tell that it gets a little bit faster. Then when you click it one more time, you can see it getting a little more fast, a little faster. You can see the world going crazy. And then you click the big red button. Look at this guy. He's going at the speed of light. You can barely see him move. Look, all I can do is this, and he's going crazy. Just, this is the max amount of sensitivity. But if you want to see me play Sky Wars with the max amount of sensitivity, let me know down in the comments. I need video ideas, please help me. Now, the CPS is really fun. This mouse can really help you with your CPS. It's built perfectly to fit in your hand, so it will click really fast once you get down here at the bottom part. So let me show you this real quick with the amazing hand cam. You get to see my hand cl up close and personal. Yep. We're just going to jitter click real quick and get on the edge here. And I'm not a great clicker, but let's see what happens. You can already see I'm doing pretty, pretty terrible. I'm in the sixes. Yeah, 6.8. I'm going to try that again. You can just get up here and just spam it a little bit. Eh, seven. That's pretty decent. Then you can butterfly click. That's just using two fingers. Just, I just can't aim while I butterfly click. Let's see, that's eight. That's pretty good. But my favorite, all-time favorite part, the modifications right here. This can help you get up to your 20 and maybe even 40 CPS. So make sure to watch to the end. And I'll show you how to program the mouse into doing that. But watch this. 
20.2 and it's it is wonderful when you first get the mouse you'll get a thing through the wizard if you're on I think that's what it's called the wizard when you first come up on there when you plug in or Bluetooth or do something with your mouse it happens to every razor product when you do your very first one it'll pop up and says would you like to download these apps and obviously you want to download these apps they are great so you will pull up Razor Synapse it will look somewhere like this it will tell you some different products you might be interested in these are the three I, ha I have right now this is the Razer Balix X Hyperspeed we will just go to mouse and this is our modification settings now you can have your left click your right click your normal clicking your scroll up your scroll down your scroll click you want to keep those the same because you do that for everyday stuff and if you forget about it it still works unless if you're doing 40 clicks per second and I'll show you that here in a second but these are the two buttons I mainly work with this is our sensitivity stages when you click it you can change that over here in the studio and performance stuff but for right now we are going to worry about these two here now for left click we can go over to our mouse functions it will automatically be in default we would want to go to mouse functions but if you want to look through all of these there's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do you can make a keyboard function you can have sensitivity you can have it open up YouTube and go to my channel and subscribe. You better do that right now. But right now, we are going to look at this. When you go to mouse function, you can pull up this, which you have all the buttons on your mouse. And once you click left click or whatever button you want, you can enable turbo and you can have it go up to 20 clicks per second here and just it will click extremely fast let me show you a clip of me playing sky wars with it now we're going to look at how you get 40 clicks per second but before I do that I'm going to look at this one right here this is our right click section if you click the back button of here you can have it to mouse function as however you want to but I like to have it as right click because you can also put it at 20 clicks per second and it really does help you clutch if you remember to press the button yeah, that's what I'm bad at, pressing buttons. But I really like pressing buttons. So you can put that up to 20 clicks per second the same way how you put your left click up to 20 clicks per second. And it will go 20 clicks. You can adjust it through this bar right here, and it'll be good. But now for what you've been waiting for, the 40 clicks per second, you'll need to go over to this bar right here and click where you see double click and when you have the double click you want to want to bring it up to 20 clicks per second now you see where I'm coming through here this is basic math it's still difficult for my brain to wrap around but 2 times 20 equals 40 so you get 40 clicks per second but you have to watch out because sometimes it will give you an error in some places because uh, 40 clicks per second is somewhere inhuman for some reason yeah, don't get banned because of me. Alright guys, if you enjoyed looking at this mouse, I've left a link to it in the description. It's around $80 on Amazon. I think it's a little bit cheaper on the Razer site. But my link down there is for Amazon, so make sure to check it out. This has really upped my gameplay, helped me with my PvP. Really fun to experiment with, a lot of buttons to press. 
But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video so YouTube actually thinks I'm a decent human being because my mom said I was. And subscribe if you enjoy my type of content. And I will see you in the next one.